Ladies and gentlemen, we finally have the skill details revealed for one of the new Archer legendary commanders coming to Rise of Kingdoms. That is none other than Shajar Aldur. Once again, sorry if I mispronounced that, but today is literally my birthday. And I woke up and discovered that Rise of Kingdoms has blessed me with some new information about this legendary commander. So let's quickly go over the skills. But first, what's going on, guys? Cheers. Of course, before we jump in, if you appreciate breaking news for Rise of Kingdoms, drop a thumbs up on the video it helps out the channel a ton and consider subscribing for more breaking news in the future and with that being said let's take a look at the active skill here for Shajar we have a 1000 rage requirement we knew this already and it says that if this commander is serving as the primary commander you will deal a staggering 2800 direct damage to the target I'm pretty sure this is the highest single target hit in the game not including things that are conditional right so if we look at somebody like Tarek for example if he's surrounded he hits for a higher damage factor things like that of course that that is in the game but this seems to be like vanilla the highest single number without any other conditions just straight up 2800 very very high damage factor here but I think the more exciting part of the skill is the second part of the skill that says if serving as secondary commander for the next 10 seconds whenever this commander heals a target they also deal 80 percent affected by their troop attack of the heal strength as true damage to a target troop and this commander's troop is mighty healed for a large portion of its slightly wounded units with a healing factor of 2000 in either case the target of the damage loses 50 percent march speed for three seconds okay so if you guys have been not paying if you haven't been paying attention to my videos about mighty healing i said that if this healing factor was higher than richard this commander would be very very powerful and if you don't know why i'm saying that i highly recommend you watch my video where i go over what the actual mighty healing formula is in rise of kingdoms or at least what we have figured out with the help of speco but the wording of this skill is very bizarre this is very bizarre to me because as we know with true damage it says that true damage calculation is not affected by the attacking troops attack attribute or defending troops defense attribute but here we see when you pop your active skill you get a 10 seconds i guess buff window that says whenever this commander heals a target okay does that include itself because here there it's healing itself this commander's troop is mighty healed for 2000 healing factor which is crazy so does that mean that you are the target in this instance during that 10 second window and if so why are we dealing 80 percent and it's affected by the troops attack in other words it seems like your attack is still important for dealing damage here you're dealing 80 percent of the heal strength as true damage but the percentage is affected by your troops attack i genuinely have no idea what that means i i i'm very confused as to the wording here this honestly everything here kind of makes sense except for whatever's in these parentheses right here and also why is the 80 percent yellow when it's not actually an upgradable part of the skill right everything else here in yellow is like like the 2800 things like that that's all upgradable i don't know what exactly is going on why is healing factor not in yellow if it is an upgradable i don't i don't know i don't know guys i don't know what i do know though is that 2800 is a very high single target hit and the healing this healing the guys this healing factor um this is going to be very very good in terms of keeping yourself on the field i think this commander is going to hit very very hard now it seems like this is a single target hit regardless so that is definitely a bit of a downside there's no aoe here it seems right i don't see anything here that says that this is an aoe skill shot okay so very high single target hit very good sustain with the mighty healing we've got a march speed reduction as well but no aoe let's move on to the rest of the skills here we have 35 percent health and 20 percent march speed that is an unbelievable kit already dude that is actually 
insane this is oh my god okay very vanilla but like that's what you wanted here okay in terms of getting good balanced trades in your favor you want health and march speed is amazing for archers because they're so slow these days i love to see it and already as a 5511 this could be very very good the third skill if this commander is in a field troop their troop takes 10 percent less normal damage and whenever their troop uses an active skill it mighty heals up to three nearby allied or friendly troops including this commander troop for a large portion of their slightly wounded units with a healing factor of 500. so this is another mighty heal by the way three second cooldown that's actually pretty good wait a minute i think i just figured out why this is insane so okay so we have here a 500 healing factor that is aoe in a way um it's not actually aoe in the form of a fan shape or a circle or anything like that but it says when you use an active skill you mighty heal three ally or friendly troops and then the active skill says so during this 10 second window it says whenever you heal a target they also deal 80 percent of the heal strength as true damage to a target troop so you actually are dealing your you as a as a commander are causing nearby allies when healed to deal true damage and i mean oh my god wait that is so it's like you're attacking your allies enemy through the ally if that makes any sense right by you healing them you're causing them to deal true damage am i understanding this correctly this is super confusing but if that's how that works that's insane and also the fact that this is mighty healing again it's going to be very good let's take a look here at the fourth skill it says you take 20 wait wait you take 20 percent less damage while on the map straight up 20 percent all damn what <laughs> okay while this commander's troop is on the map whenever it is reduced to 60 percent units remaining it will be mighty healed for a large portion of its slightly wounded units with a healing factor of 5,000. okay that is a massive amount of sustain however you lose 40 percent attack which is a lot of attack to lose and however you take 40 percent less damage for the next eight seconds this skill can trigger once per hour cooldown resets immediately if this commander enters your city so okay what's actually insane here is when you get this 5,000 healing factor if it's during the 10 second window here are you also going to be dealing just an absolute like tactical nuke from orbit in terms of true damage because that's what it seems to be to me once per hour you're gonna get a 5,000 mighty healing factor absolute nuke absolute nuke that is it's gonna be two and a half times stronger than your active skill assuming that it occurs during this 10 second window uh, and also assuming that you being a target or you can be your own target here right that's how I'm interpreting this but we won't know until this is actually in the game let's finish the expertise here before we continue when this commander's troop heals a troop for the next three seconds the healed troop gains 10 percent defense and deals 20 percent more normal damage that is an unbelievable buff for any smite commander okay if you're running Liu Che, if you're running William Wallace even if you're running Liu Che with Alexander the Great, a 20% normal damage bonus is going to be very, very good for three seconds. We love to see it now. Of course, that depends on the, on the timing. If you get this normal damage bonus while your Liu Che is casting his active skill, that's insane. You could miss the timing though. So, you know, there's a little bit of, of hit or miss there. And the defense is just nice in general. But let's return back to how this commander actually works because this is very confusing to me, okay? essentially if this commander is your secondary commander okay you have a 10 second window where whenever you're healing a target you're also dealing true damage to a target troop based on the healing strength there and we know that you're going to be healing yourself when this active skill occurs if you're the secondary but is your self heal here 
considered a commander being healed by a target right that's what i don't actually know i imagine that it will work that way because otherwise then this commander would not be dealing damage as a secondary right unless they start healing with the third skill um so i imagine that you healing yourself will trigger the true damage here um but again the way it's worded is very weird it says whenever this commander heals a target are you your own target can you be your own target i actually don't know it's 6 23 in the morning so like i i don't i'm not able to comprehend this okay i suspect that you healing yourself however will cause you to deal a percentage of that heal as true damage likewise on the third skill whenever your troop uses an active skill in mighty heals up to three nearby friendly allies for 500 mighty healing factor and that also will cause true damage to be dealt i assume based on how this is worded and finally when you get your massive healing factor of 5,000 once per hour then or if you go back to your city basically you wait a minute does that mean you can cheeseburger like an absolute giga chad here right because you could just pop it well I guess you wouldn't want to reduce yourself to 60 percent that would be a big hospital bill okay so maybe not but regardless you, once per hour at least you're going to get a 5,000 mighty healing factor which is I mean that's really good now it's not as good as Constantine's healing factor here right because he gets a 15,000 healing factor but I also want you guys to understand how much better mighty healing actually is than regular healing uh, so it's actually not as bad as you think again if you miss my video explaining about a healing I highly recommend you watch that you're not going to be able to understand how good this commander is until you watch that video but this seems really tanky guys it seems really tanky very supportive overall and it looks like it's going to be hitting at least one target most likely like a truck every single skill cycle it's got like i assume to be some sort of pseudo aoe it's not really aoe but you're going to be hitting a target of your ally right with the he healing factor here from the active skill and the third skill here so yeah this commander is extremely unique and i'm very excited to see how this commander is going to work out and besides all of that all of the uniqueness and all the weirdness and all the supportive stuff it's 35 percent health and 20 percent march speed which for archers is like what they needed right obviously you know we have juge leong he already has a ton of health but he has no march speed here we've got a even more health and the march speed that he desperately needs so in this instance like how is this going to change up the meta and you know will this commander just work with the other archer commander that's coming out as well the mightiest governor commander i suspect that she will and the other commander if they also have like oh my god they have aoe right so like this is gonna be insane you guys this is actually brand new mechanics this i'm very excited to see how this commander works in the open field i think this commander is going to be insane but 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 there doesn't really seem to be aoe here it's a bit more mega single target mega supportive very good healing very good buffing for infantry players right so lots to love about this new commander but it's not what we um historically would say as meta and i think that that's a good thing because this could completely change what we expect of open field commanders moving forward and so it's too early to say is this a must-have commander is this not a must-have commander it's it's just too early to say but you absolutely cannot write this commander off there's not a single reason to say that this commander couldn't be meta viable based on what we see right here uh sometimes we see new commander come out they're an absolute snooze fest okay we've seen that recently with a few different commanders this is not one of those commanders i can't imagine it being the case and again if you think this commander is underwhelming you don't know how mighty healing works and you have to watch that video i cannot stress that enough this is going to be very very interesting i'm very excited to see how shajar alder works in rise of kingdoms when she finally does come around and of course if you guys didn't know this is most likely going to be the wheel of fortune commander so this will be the open field commander for this upcoming archer release and they did reveal that she will be coming by the end of the month that was initially their plan so i assume that this commander will be coming around the 24th of this month so keep that in mind very very soon coming down the pipeline sorry i didn't mean to actually zoom in there anyway 
anyway let me know what you think about her in the comments section below and while you're down there consider dropping a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so the rise of kingdoms players might see it and consider subscribing while you're down there and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace